All right, so if you've been keeping score at home, we got a couple of... Normally I don't participate in melodramas, but there's a couple of really fun ones going on right now. Let's see if I have time to address both of them. I doubt that I will. There's one with, with uh, John Anderson, Nirvadia, Shannon Q, this whole anti-theist convention. You know, that's a really fun one. I might make, wind up making two videos, but I can't promise you I'll get two videos out. Why? Because quarantine. You know, I don't put out as many videos because my, my video making ability depends on my wife leaving the apartment and she's, a lot of, she's just around a lot more frequently than she used to be because of the coronavirus. So, uh, I, I'll address what I can. These controversies are fun. You know, these, these, here's a, I don't normally engage in YouTube melodramas, but these two are pretty entertaining. Now, going to the first one that I've already done a video about. We have Jacqueline Glenn... Uh, Jacqueline Glenn video about Paul and Morgan and then Morgan's response which I haven't addressed yet and now we have a response from Brenda Brenda if you do not know is Brenda of God is Gray God is Gray she's kind of like a liberal Christian um, she's really popular in the atheist community actually more popular than me Pfft, yeah go figure honestly prior to her I was the only Christian who had who people like actually got along with people <laughs> got along with atheists she gets along with them better than I do she actually has like I don't know she streamed with Mr. Atheist I guess they're like friends they stream together she pals around with Jacqueline Glenn she streamed with her um, I mentioned her I was chatting with uh, who was I chatting with V. La Bianca that's the new one of the new female hosts of the Atheist Experience I was chatting with her on Twitter I mentioned God is Gray and she like you know, she went, bells went off. She started singing her praises, like, oh, I love her. I love God. I'm like, what? <laughs> you, you, yeah, threw me. But so God is Gray has weighed in on this Jacqueline Glenn, Paul and Morgan melodrama. And God is Gray, I'll have some of these posted. God is Gray's response is really weird. The initial thing of the melodrama, if you dig into the actual initial video, the the entire premise of Jacqueline Glenn's video is completely flawed and completely absurd. Now, God is Gray weighs in on the side of Paul may be toxic. Go figure. <laughs> I swear to God, she does. She weighs in on it in a way that's really, really bizarre. Like, I think Paul might be toxic, and you know, if he were toxic, he wouldn't be, he'd be checking her. The evidence for this guy being toxic is so scant and so slim that they shouldn't presume that he is guilty of having oppressed Morgan. There's far more evidence to the contrary than there is in the, the idea that he's like, here's the original, okay, let's, let's start from the beginning. The original predicate, the original premise of Jacqueline Glenn's video concerning Paul and Morgan was completely and utterly fallacious. The original idea is she found these old videos that, that Morgan had made and she, the, the premise was, honest to God, this was the premise. Once upon a time, Morgan was this powerful woman, this free spirit, this creative force with her own personality and a strong will, and now she's a Stepford wife. I swear to God, that's the premise. I swear to God, now she's practically joined the Handmaid's Tale, and, and Paul is oppressing her around the clock. I swear to God, that's the premise. Now she's a member of the Handmaid's Tale, and Paul, I don't know what the Handmaid's Tale is, I just assume it's like, you know, she's, she's become this like docile, 50s, you know, smiles only when her husband speaks and bats her eyes all the time and doesn't have any personality left. And, you know, Paul, it's all because of terrible Paul. I swear to God, that's a part of the premise. I, that sounds exaggerated. The video is pretty exaggerated. And the evidence for Paul's oppression of his wife is really scant. A couple of stray comments in the video. I swear to God, there's, there's almost no evidence presented that he is, in fact, toxic. But Brenda kind of agrees that he may be toxic, and there's no evidence presented. The problem is, there's a whole bunch of problems from the start, but the first problem is, okay, as I pointed out in the other video, Morgan is talented for sure as a singer. Um, honestly, she really is. And, and I, I mean this as a compliment. A lot of you won't hear this as a compliment, but I, I swear I mean this as a compliment. If she tried out for American Idol... She'd make it to the top ten. That's how good she is. <laughs> what? See, I, I knew nobody. Nobody understands that that's a compliment. That's a compliment. You, those people can actually sing. You might think that's a dumb show and they can't sing. They, I really promise you, they can really sing. There's really real talent that that tries out for American Idol. You make it to the top ten, you can honest to God sing. And she's that good. She could easily. If she tried out for American Idol. She'd probably make it to the top ten. 
to maybe even make it to the top five. She's a good singer. She's talented. Her videos that she made way back when, when she was trying to make it as a performer, are nothing special. They're generic. You know, copycat, Lady Gaga, copycat, Katy Perry, whoever you want. Whichever generic female performer of the, du jour you want to say she was imitating, she was imitating. They're nothing special. They're okay. She can sing, for sure. She's talented. But they weren't some, like, really powerful creative force that she's now shut down so she can marry Paul. So that's premise one. Flawed. Totally flawed. Nothing all that groundbreaking or important about the videos she put out as a, as a Christian, as a performer. Nothing. They're standard pop product. You, you watch them and go, eh, interesting. If you didn't know who it was, you'd just be like, okay, whatever. And you click on the next link. So that, that part's flawed too. Then the other part, which Brenda kind of notices but doesn't really elaborate on. Brenda says in the video where she's kind of seconding the idea that Paul is in fact toxic. It's kind of, they, they've, Jacqueline concocted this Paul is toxic premise out of thin air. Honest to God. Brenda noticed one thing that's really important. She said, Morgan has a really strong personality. Hello. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the second part of the flaw in the premise. The first part is that Morgan wasn't doing anything all that groundbreaking original as she wasn't Judy Collins writing all this original material. She wasn't this powerful creative force on her own in the world that she's now shut down in service of Paul. Premise two is flawed. She hasn't become this docile Stepford wife. It's idiotic. They make videos together. When they make videos together, you know, as far as I can tell, Morgan talks half the time, if not most of the time. How is this, how is this controlling relationship manifesting itself? The girl gets to rant and rave alongside of it, you know, full, full throttle. On her opinions, as far as I can tell, they're just as prominent as his opinions. And I've watched a few of their videos now, maybe 20 total. Her opinions are just as prominent as his. How is this controlling relationship manifesting itself? When the cameras go off, then he goes, oh, you better make sure you read your Bible before you go to bed tonight. I don't know. It's, it's ridiculous. The whole thing is ridiculous. And Brenda kind of seconds it. And what it's predicated on is this, this absurd anti-theist idea. Not that Brenda's an anti-theist. She's a Christian, actually. She's a lot of Christians. I don't know. I, I, somebody somewhere once got in my face about her and said she's this and that. And I'm sure that like traditional, traditional Christians probably get upset with her. I don't know how much it is. I, I got no issues with her at all. I don't mind if you're a liberal Christian, you know. I, my only objection to liberal Christians is that Oftentimes, and I don't, I'm not saying this is true of her at all, but oftentimes they're, they're, oftentimes they're, they're, their modus operandi is in not necessarily pure, purely out of service for the Lord. I don't find that they're, it's necessarily a crisis of conscience in them that makes them more amenable to certain ideas that are out there in the world. I find it's more, they're amenable to ideas out there in the world because they want to be. Not necessarily its purity of intent. I don't know if I said that all that clearly. Um, I have no, no particular dog in the fight when it comes to liberal Christian God. No problem with God is gray, necessarily. She's, you know, people say, well, she's not walking all that strong with the Lord. Neither are a lot of other people. So she's doing, she's, and she's, she's doing some good, as far as I'm concerned, because she's breaking bread with people like Mr. Atheist and Jacqueline Glenn, and she's at least influencing them. You know, I think she's a positive influence to some degree. I think she's doing a good job. She's some of the people that she's had on her channel. I don't know very many of them. Pete Enns I do know because it was mentioned to me by Pine Creek Doug. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atheism. <laughs> Talk about Mr. Atheist. Mentioned him when I was at a chat in Shannon's. Uh, I was at a party in Shannon's channel once, and he said if he was going to become a Christian again, I forget the exact wording, but he said something along the lines as he'd be a Christian like Pete Enns. So Pete Enns was brought up as like, this is a wussy Christian that we can all, we in the atheist community can get behind, you know. So take it with a grain of salt if you want to, but I have no objection to her liberal Christianity at all. I don't care who she votes for at all. At all. Um, I, my only objection to liberal Christians in general is sometimes their, their first love is not necessarily for the Lord. I'm not saying that's true of her at all. That's between her and God. It's not between her, me, and God. I'm not judging her in the slightest. I don't care who she votes for. And I think Pete Enns, you know, I've watched some of his videos. He's got some cool things to say. 
And I think she's doing some good. Honestly, I think she's making inroads into the atheist community, and I applaud that. And they love her. They love her partially because she's Mrs. Gay Friendly. You know, it's a little much for me, but it's not, it's not to the point where I, I find it objectionable. It's just, a, you know, I don't need to hear about it all the time. That's, that's as far as I go with it. But the point is, she sides with Jacqueline Glenn in judging Paul. In this, she's completely off base. Okay, in this particular video, she's completely off base. Why? Because she sides with Jacqueline Glenn. And they both basically say that Paul is kind of toxic and kind of controlling, and the evidence they give is exactly zero. None. None. Now keep in mind, go watch a Jacqueline Glenn, go watch a more Paul and Morgan video right now. You, you will see. In a controlling relationship, it's not like Paul does all the talking and tells you, this is how you interpret the Bible, and she just sits there and smiles and bats her eyes. And makes like, you know, bakes cakes with the skirt on. That's what they're acting like. I swear to God, that's what they're acting like. It's not how it goes down. Go watch the video. Go watch the video. You'll see. <laughs> you know? You know, that's an iffy one, wives submit to your husband. So they try to, they're trying to embody that. And I made, when I pointed out my video, good luck with that. <laughs> it's my experience. It doesn't work. And then people didn't understand what I meant by that, you know? I, I understand. First of all, what Brenda points out is completely true. Um, Morgan is a has a strong personality. I just don't foresee her be, being convincingly submissive for very long. I just don't. Why? She's got a strong personality. I know strong personality as well. My wife has a strong personality. Now, it's complicated. Especially it's complicated when Christianity is in the mix. Because my wife, in some ways, is a really strong personality. And... You know, it'd be great if she read the Bible and said, you know, I really want to start submitting like the Bible says. I'd be all for it. I just ain't, ain't expecting it to happen anytime soon. I think it's great, sweetheart. I totally applaud that. It just didn't happen, you know. That's all, and I don't expect it to happen anytime soon. She mysteriously avoids that scripture in her Bible readings. But, you know, in, in truth, the true Christian, if you're the real Christian in your relationship, you're the one who's concerned with humbling yourself serving the needs of the other. That's what true Christianity is to me as far as I'm concerned. It's about obedience for yourself. It's not about worrying what my wife does. It's between my wife and God. My wife has a strong personality. Some, it's complicated. Like I said, in some ways my wife is Mrs. 50s, like, girly girl, you know, puts on a... She does a lot. She does almost all the chores, you know. Wow, that's really lazy, Greg. You know, I, partially because I would never do them. You know, I don't even notice when the house gets messy, she notices and she does them. So, in some ways, she can be Mrs. like, you know, 50s, whatever. Mrs. throwback to another era in some ways. But it's complicated, as with all modern women. It's really complicated. And she has an extraordinarily strong personality, and she doesn't submit to me in any sort of way at all. Um... But there's upsides, you know? She's really fun. She, it's very, in some ways, she's kind of similar to Morgan. My only thing is I was speculating that Morgan wasn't going to be all that submissive for very long. That's why. Because she strikes me as a strong personality. And when you watch the videos, the idea that Paul is, like, lording it over her is really far-fetched. When you watch the videos, you don't get the sense that this is, like, there's some real imbalance here and he's controlling. That's what I don't get. I, the, the, the thing is, is that Jacqueline Glenn and Brenda are kind of... There's, a, there's an embedded precept. If anybody tries to live up to any standard, like, 50 square peg moral framing at all, even a little, if anyone gives assent to it, or anyone empathizes with it a little, you know, they automatically think it's gone too far, even when it hasn't really gone that far. That's all. Look, I, I, I'd be weirded out, you know. I'm not a feminist, necessarily, but I, I you know, I would be really weirded out if, if, that was a, there was a real power imbalance there that was noticeable to me, the viewer. There isn't. That's my point. If, if Paul was, like, doing all the talking and she was just sitting there smiling and batting her eyes, I'd be like, oh, my God, what era are these guys from? They're not. They give assent to some attributes of that era, okay, because they want to serve the Lord. They think that is the appropriate way to serve the God because it's written in the Bible. Now, Jacqueline Glenn and Brenda kind of take that, that idea and run with it. Again, it's not the only video they've ever made on the subject. And they don't make 50 videos on wives submitting to your husband. As far as I know, they've only made one. And what, she's not submitted in any way of, like, oppression. 
You watch their videos. She's, she's running her mouth off more often than he is. And as far as I can tell, not censoring herself at all. Still very strong-willed, still very strong, strong-spirited. That's, and like I pointed out in my first video, the person who I see in the videos with Jacqueline, with, with Paul and Morgan, seems to me to be the real Morgan. Okay? The person who I saw in the generic pop videos didn't seem to me like the real Morgan at all. Seemed to me like a, like a knockoff of Lady Gaga in this video, knockoff of, you know, Katy Perry in this video, imitation person in that video. So I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all. I don't buy the, I don't buy the original video, the, pre, the premise of the original video I found flawed. You know, the, then, then Paul, Morgan got a little bit too, she made a response video where she was a little bit too troubled by it. It's not that big of a deal. It's really not. <laughs> the only reason I'm bringing it up is it's entertaining, honestly. It's something to do. You know, if you've got a couple of hours to kill, watch the videos back and forth. Take an hour and a half to watch all of them. Um, that's the only reason I brought it up, because it's interesting and it's fun. Honestly, it's not important. It's not even close to important. And, and Morgan got a little bit too troubled by it when her response. It's not a big deal. It's really not. <laughs> but they're mistaken. There's no evidence that Paul is a toxic or controlling person at all. None. Zero. And I mean like zero. Just because they make a couple of videos here and there that give assent to a certain moral framing that is, yeah, old-fashioned. That's all that's going on. They're, they're saying that they're going to start practicing some of the more old-fashioned, you know, admonitions in the Bible because they think that it's truly what the Bible would, it's truly how God wants them to live. It's their prerogative. Are they going to walk it out in any way? My only thing when I said I, I doubt that, that it'll work is I don't see them really walking out the wives submitting to your husband all that successfully. That's all I said. That's all I meant, you know. I didn't mean don't try it or I just meant, you know, she strikes me as very strong will. And if she's submitting to him now, 10 years from now, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Been down that road before. That's all I'm saying. You know, call me, call me, call me skeptical. That's all. That's all I meant. You know, no harm done. But the, the idea that, I don't know, it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy how much mileage these guys got out of basically nothing. Basically nothing. You know, they, Paul and Morgan, they do this, uh, and again, not Brenda, Brenda doesn't do it, and not necessarily Jacqueline Glenn, but a lot of atheists do the same hit piece on Paul and Morgan that they do on little Stephanie. Here's the one or two things that Stephanie does that are objectionable, let's pretend it's the only thing she does. Same idea, same premise. Paul and Morgan make three videos a week. They do live streams, and they make three videos, and most of them are just about, like, you know, should Christians hug while they're... I don't know, dating, I guess. <laughs> Should Christians watch a scary movie or something like Most of them are just standard issue, like, advice for young Christians and things like that. And, you know, as far as I can tell, most of it is benign and harmless. So, there you have it, kids. That's just my two cents on it. The only reason I addressed it, again, popped up in my, popped up in my feed. Brenda's God is Gray's <laughs> response. So, there you have it. Now you got my response to the response. And that is all for now. Oh, and the Novadia thing. Far more entertaining. I don't know if I'll have time to get to it. The John Anderson anti-theist meltdown with Novadia and, and Shannon Q. And, you know, if you got time to kill, if you're quarantined, you got time to kill. Check that one out. That's about four or five hours of YouTube. <laughs> it's just, I haven't even watched all of them. The one, the interview with Novadia. And John Anderson alone is worth the price of admission. Why? It's blow your mind. It'll blow your mind just how poorly this guy handles this whole PR of his anti-theist convention. It will blow your mind. I mean, that's, that's really what, what it's about. It's really entertaining. Really entertaining. So, there you have it, kids. That is my two cents on the YouTube melodrama du jour. Jacqueline Glenn versus Paul and Morgan versus now God is gray. Brenda of God is gay. That is all for now. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen.